Hello and welcome to another episode of Maximize 365, a year of actionable tips to transform your life. I'm Kristen Sherry and today we're going to talk about contentment. You hear a lot of talk about happiness and people wanting to be happy, but contentment is something that I really try to focus on in my own life. So the quote today is by Dale Carnegie and says, it isn't what you have or who you are or where you are or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about it. Hmm, it always comes down to perspective. So contentment is peace and satisfaction with your life. You might want to achieve more, yet you're content with what you have despite hoping for better. I love that. You can be content with what you have despite hoping for better. So do you have ambition for things that you want to achieve? So maybe you want to get a promotion. Maybe there's a place you'd like to move to someday. Um, maybe you'd like to have another child. Who knows? Um, you can choose contentment with where your life is and who you are. But contentment doesn't mean you stop improving. So if growth is important to you, you shouldn't feel conflicted. Like, why aren't I content? I still want more. It's, it's a balance, right? So there's nothing wrong with wanting more. It's only if you think that the more is going to fulfill you and make you happy. Because that's really the case. So... The path to contentment begins with counting your blessings, such as people in your life, things you have, and who you are. So I've mentioned um, several months before writing this book that I was overweight and feeling terrible, just really phys physically awful, but I was content with my life, but I wanted better health. So I was content as a person, I'm thankful for a lot of things and I have an attitude of gratitude every day. So I'm thankful for my family, the work I get to do, the friends I have in my life. But releasing weight was really good for me, um, even though I was content overall. So we want to focus on our blessings and that keeps us in this posture of gratitude as we pursue goals and accomplishments in our life. So. Your ideas for action, there are four of them. The first one is create a daily habit of counting your blessings. And if you are journaling those blessings or just saying them out loud, make sure you're specific. And it's good to be specific about that day. So you don't wanna say, I'm, I'm thankful for having socks and shoes on my feet um, every day because that gets a little old to say that. And then you start not really being thankful for it when you're just wrote saying that over and over again. So what specific compliment did a friend give you? Or what specific situation did you find yourself in that you were thankful for? And then number two is find enjoyment in simple things. So taking a walk with a friend or playing a board game with someone or putting together a puzzle. Number three, show one person each week that you appreciate them. So it could be sending someone a text, picking up the phone, sending them a little message, even sending someone a card in the mail. Who does that anymore, right? Um, every week, picking someone to show appreciation for somehow. And number four, identify one thing in your life you wish to change. Create a plan and stay grateful as you implement change. So these ideas for action have this foundation of gratitude and contentment but also gives you a plan to address something that challenges the contentment and, and might create a struggle for you to be content. So proactively work on that challenge and then work on a foundation of gratitude that's sort of your springboard from there. So I'm curious, do you struggle with balancing contentment while still pursuing more in your life? Tell me about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I've got a lot more to come. Take care.